Hi YouTubers, Facebookers, Instagrammers and anybody else who's watching. <laughs> you fancy a cup of tea? I'm just making myself one because I'm a bit stressed and I'll explain why in a minute. You could have a, a Jack Daniels, the bar's open. It's five o'clock somewhere, eh? Right, so uh, yeah, as you all know by now, the people who follow this uh, page, uh, site, stream, whatever you want to call it. Oh, lovely cup of tea. I do suffer with my mental health. So this morning, uh, I got no work on, and uh, and I think that's going to be the norm, the new norm for a while. So I thought, right, let's not get stressed. Anxiety building. Yesterday we went up the top nest in the dinghy. Loved it. Let's take Sovereign Bay up, which is close on 20 tonne. Um, be a good experience for me. I haven't been up to top nest uh, in a big boat for about 10 years. So yeah, off we go. Got her off the mooring, made a good account of myself. Everybody was very impressed with how I took her off on my own, and uh, away I went. <clears throat> so, <laughs> imagine the scene. The river's starting to narrow just before you get the top nest when the starboard engine splutters to a halt. I've now got one engine running. So, I thought, right, okay. Well, the downstairs station, as you can see, uh, where everything stems from, um, has got no steering. Which is not a problem, because I steer her from upstairs all the time anyway. Unfortunately, I hadn't thought about the fact you can't start her from upstairs. I have to run all the way down these stairs here. Eventually get the engine running. Cutting a long story short, as I turned her to bring her back to uh, her berth, I thought we'll go home now, because uh, pushing me luck, find out what's wrong with that engine. So then I realised I've got no drive on the port engine. Great. So, basically what's happened is I've struggled back to uh, Stoke Gabriel, which is just behind me there. Let's see if I can show you. I've had to pull a buoy up, single-handed, on one engine. Uh, the boat's trying to go in all different directions. I actually got a round of applause off a guy who was passing, uh, who I think was going to come and give me a hand at one point, and realised that I'd done it as he got here. But anyway, yeah, I've had to pull this buoy up. Let's see if I can uh, show you without dropping the phone in the water, because that would be the end of the day, wouldn't it? Now, you're all going to go, that line's not thick enough for that boat, it's a messenger line, um, except that it's doing the job for the minute, and I'm going to head off back down to Campton, so... So there's the buoy. So you pull one of those up, and you tie off, and that's it, you're moored for the night, or whatever, usually. So, yeah, so I've done that. And thought, right, it'll be a cable come off or something. Something simple. So, um, I pull the engine covers up. I don't know whether you can see the engines there. There you go. There's a gearbox. And just underneath there, I don't know whether you can make it out, is all the cable systems from the, ha the helm upstairs. And the one downstairs, nothing wrong with them. Goes in and out of gear, lovely. Um, I dipped the oil. Smells very burnt clutchy to me. So tonight, guess what I'm going to be doing? Swatting up on how these gearboxes work, because I think there's a clutch involved for forward drive. I've got a stern, perfect. Really big torque stern. Nothing forward, really. It does turn the prop, but only on tick over. The minute you put it under any pressure, game over. So, that's my day ruined. <laughs> <laughs> possibly my year because I've got no money coming in and that probably will be an expensive fix although I will take the gearbox out myself and being a mechanic or ex-mechanic now um, I'll swat up on how it all works and won't be long before we fixed it so there you go youtubers for anybody who fancies a 38 foot 1981 princess running Ford almost 200 horsepower uh, twin engines diesel uh, Ebers Batcher heating, shower, two, two showers, two toilets, uh, a lovely dinghy called Elaine. Don't hesitate to call me because I've got one you can buy. <laughs> I'm off to Greece as soon as they let me go. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. It's just all part of sailing, isn't it? And um, that's why you watch me because you're picking up on the pros and cons. And this is one of the cons. Yesterday, um, the uh, pump for the uh, slop tank, which empties the showers and the sinks uh, out over the side, that packed up, so I've got to replace that as well now. 
Um, and I lost my glasses the day before that, so hopefully that's the three things now. Right, I'm going to get this back together, drink my cup of tea, enjoy the view, and then try and get her back on the mooring on one engine. I'll catch you guys later. Please subscribe. It is free after all, and uh, and I need a thousand of you. I've got 71. <laughs> Oh dear, never mind. If you want to watch a clown try and move his boat around, I'm your guy. Catch you guys later.